This news story was produced by Kojiko North Bay News. To watch the full newscast, tune into channels 12 or 700 live at 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. A breakthrough scientific theory relating to the neutron star. That's what Syrian refugee Ibrahim Jabber unveiled to the public during the noon hour on Thursday at the Grand. It is certainly difficult to wrap your head around these numbers and equations, however, Jabber has, and he says this will have a major impact on the world of physics. Here in Canada, in North Bay, I discovered the neutron star limit here in Canada because I uh, have a quiet, a quiet condition to discover these things and complete my theory because this theory uh, really contain everything until now but maybe in next years anyone can create a new theory include my theory. Jabber says that his new discovery will have real world applications. Machines create uh, energy, cheap energy and the clean energy. This is very important point. Clean energy, not pollution. It is has it is not have any uh, gases makes uh, global warming and greenhouses. They just uh, give the waste a pure and very pure material and friendly for environment. Local longtime science teacher Bob Lewis is retired. However, he's been hard at work for many months transcribing Mr. Jobber's work from Arabic to English. His scientific discoveries will be available for the international science community and the public in his new work due out in the next couple of months. Basically what was discovered was a set of uh, equations that will help physicists uh, everywhere describe, be able to describe uh, uh, neutron stars and black holes and the universe. This is really what he's done. What makes this story even more incredible is the fact that Jabber has only been in Canada for 19 months as he and his wife and sons were the first Syrian refugee family to arrive in North Bay back in January of 2016. Jabber's new environment has allowed him to excel in his field. I feel safety and well in Canada. So Canada gave me everything before I give her everything. So I want now uh, return this favor for Canada. Yeah. That's music to the ears of Nipissing to Miskaming MP Anthony Rhoda. We have people coming in from another country where uh, they're inhibited to, uh, to expand on what they can do. And really, that's the Canadian dream. This is a major success story for the North Bay District Multicultural Centre. For Ibrahim and his family, I think it's a wonderful achievement. I think um, it could have, I can't pretend to understand what the, uh, what the discoveries are, but uh, I think it could have wonderful implications uh, locally, nationally, globally, and that's really exciting. The Nipissing branch of the Canadian International Council hosted this event at the Grand. To put a bow on this story, their cover story on their website right now is... Canada's initiative with the Syrian Refugee Program. It's perfect alignment because of our event today. The expected release of Jabber's first book is this fall. Reporting for Kojiko North Bay News, I'm Clark Heipel. If you are interested in watching Kojiko North Bay News, you can become a subscriber by calling 1-800-267-9000.